Some things might be easy for me, but they are difficult for someone else. Like if you, um, there's a person who I did a lot of therapy with, we're, I'm gonna show you her at the end of this. She, in our session, she mentioned her strength is if somebody acting like acting funny or if somebody acting like they have no interest, it actually turns her off and she's like, all right, bye. So, you know, certain people are strong when it comes to letting things go. They're just not going to put up with it. And so what you can do is ask for somebody to hold your hand, ask for somebody to hold you accountable. But the thing is, you got to be serious about allowing somebody to hold you up where you are weak. Because I've been in this situation before with past friends, and it had become difficult for me to be in that friendship because that person had me up and down, up and down, fluctuating with their indecisiveness. So when it comes to involving somebody else in your help with helping you get rid of toxic relationships, you've got to be willing to submit to that person's wisdom, to submit to that person's strength so you can really um, let go, let go and receive the help because we, you have help, right? But every day, just say, I receive the help. Whatever help God has given me today, I receive that help. Amen. So 